Hi everyone. This video is for writing study students or students interested in the writing studies degree. My name is Jennifer Courtney. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm an instructor in the Department of English, Linguistics and Writing Studies, and this is the writing studies team. So in this video, we'll talk about the differences between the degrees offered in the Department of English Linguistics and Writing Studies, and we'll provide detailed information about the Writing Studies degree. We'll talk briefly about some of the classes you might take and about the Writing Studies Scholars Program, and then we'll link you to some people who can help. My name is Andrea Malouf. I'm also an instructor in the English Linguistics and Writing Studies program. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. So English studies majors, uh, or English studies is one degree you can get through the ELWS department. English majors study literature, language, and other texts through in-depth creative analysis and creative production. English majors can have a, concentr a concentrated study of just literature if they want, or creative writing, or both. Um, either strand also has or includes cultural um, studies courses uh, and also connects to current cultural conversations. The major courses in this degree are 2250, uh, in Intro to Imaginative Writing, and also the Critical Intro to Literature. Those are the two required courses with many amazing electives. Hi everyone, my name is Ann Canavan and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I am one of the faculty in the linguistics program, which is essentially the scientific study of language. So if you're ever curious how human language works, um, the structure and systems of language, the cultural aspects, all of the burning questions you've had about language but were afraid to ask, linguistics is something that might interest you. We have a number of courses that transfer directly to the University of Utah, as well as English 1200 Intro to Linguistics, which transfers to all UCHI institutions. So this is Jennifer again. I'm going to talk a little bit about the AS in Writing Studies, which um, provides you with the first two years of required courses and general education requirements for the University of Utah's um, Writing and Rhetoric Studies degree. As you learn, as you earn an AS in Writing Studies, you'll learn to use writing as a tool for community writing and professional growth. The courses in the degree help you develop the top three skills sought after by employers, critical thinking, oral and written communication, and teamwork, and the top for traits, creativity, persuasion, collaboration, and, and adaptability. In this program, we value students with diverse backgrounds, rich experiences, and unique knowledge. And your work in this degree won't be limited to English. It incorporates all the languages you bring to your studies. This course of study elevates your qualifications in lots of different careers, such as the law, business, sociology, political science, and the arts. So the two required courses for the AS in Writing Studies are Introduction to Writing Studies and Introduction to Digital Writing. So we're gonna tell you about those classes right now. My name is Bernice Olivas. I'm also an instructor here at Salt Lake Community College. My pronouns are she and hers. Um, so at the, uh, at the heart of English 2040 is the concept that writing is both an activity and a subject of study. In class, we'll closely examine both what it means to study writing and what it means to be a writer. Over the course of the semester, we'll survey the history of writing studies as an academic di discipline and explore current trends in composition and rhetoric scholarship. Um, we'll also practice writing in a variety of forms and genres. This class will help you to define your long-term goals as a member of writing studies. This is Jennifer again. I'm going to tell you about English 2310, Introduction to Digital Writing. This course builds on what you already know about how writing circulates and operates in the world. We look at digital networks, asking how writers connect with one another and across communities. We analyze how multimodal stories work and explore how digital tools shape effective stories. 
And we investigate stories told through archives, developing both archival literacy and racial literacy in tech. In this class, you will learn and play with new tools and produce a number of visual, oral, and written texts. Hi, I'm Clint Gardner. I direct the Student Writing and Reading Center here at Salt Lake Community College, and I also teach English 1810, Mentoring Writers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. Anne Canavan and Bernice Olivas also teach the class. Mentoring Writers is a class that teaches you how to give feedback to writers. One of the goals of the class is to help you understand that writing is a social act and requires other people, other writers, to respond and give feedback to anyone who is writing. We do our best writing with others, particularly when they give us honest, helpful feedback. Mentoring Writers is an actively engaged class, and that means you'll actually be working as mentors as a part of the course, applying the theories and practices that we discuss. Hi, this is Andrea again. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about writing in the professions. This course covers key principles, practices, and ethical issues related to writing in professional contexts. Although writing is context specific and thus changes across industries, jobs, and locations, all professional writing builds and sustains relationships. This course is a human relations general education designation. And part of the focus of the course includes expertise from many industries. Every other week, students get to engage with professional writers from such industries as journalism, museum curation, information design, video game design, science, data analytics, creative writing, legislative writing, and many more. Hi, I'm Joanne Giordano. My pronouns are she or they, and I teach English 2500, which is an exploration of language and grammar principles within the context of students' own writing. So if you take this course, you'll learn about recognizing how culture and, and society shape people's attitudes towards language and grammar and style and beliefs about language correctness. You'll learn about how to apply grammar usage and style principles to specific writing contexts and adapt those principles across the different types of text that you will write. You'll also learn about writing clear, concise, and cohesive text at a more advanced level than other writing courses that you took for general education credit. And then you'll also explore principles of rhetorical grammar and style and how they apply to your work in editing your own writing or in editing the work of other writers. Hi, my name's Ann Fillmore. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I teach English 2030, Language in Society. This course focuses on language difference and adaptation and how difference and adaptation shape and are shaped by our interactions with one another. As we study discourse, you'll study how beliefs are encoded in language. Further, you'll be challenged to grapple with your own ideologies, assumptions, and biases about language. Ultimately, this class should help you develop your own version of critical language awareness, one that is both self-reflective and informed by language and cultural analysis. Hi, I'm Brenda Siskowski. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I will be speaking to you today about the course English 1820, and that's publication studies. Um, in publication studies, um, you would learn about theories and practices of producing, circulating, distributing, all kinds of printed and digital writing. As part of that, we do a little bit of a history of um, print production or uh, text production. So we might study things like the English papyrus or the Egyptian papyrus all the way up through printing presses. Um, and you'll get a, a vast picture of that all the way to kind of contemporary e and digital publishing. Um, that's just a small portion though. A lot of this course is very hands-on. Uh, in the fall, you would be working to produce the Salt Lake Community College Community Anthology. Um, so you would take that publication all the way through soliciting submissions, deciding on what to accept, designing, doing the layout, uh, all the way through uh, binding and trimming, which includes lots of fun uh, glue machines and uh, trim machines. Um, if you were taking it in the fall or the spring, excuse me, 
what you'd be working on is publishing the winner and finalists of a annual chapbook contest. Um, alongside those projects, we also, students individually work on handmade. Um, so in the slide, you can kind of see some examples of some different stitched forms, but we do also kind of have a maker feel with some um, handmade books. A side note, if you are intimidated because like me, um, you don't think of yourself as someone who is good with your hands, or you don't think of yourself as someone who is good with things like Adobe Photoshop or InDesign, this class is a great way to kind of learn those things. Um, when I started teaching it, I was very nervous about that. And this class was a great way to jump into that. Uh, another benefit is as you're making things with your hands, there's a kind of peace and calmness <laughs> and that can come over you. So I hope you will think of publication studies as a course um, that has many facets. You'll learn a lot about the publication industry. You'll do a lot uh, in that publication industry. Um, and then you'll also do handmade forms. If you want more information about the publication center itself, you can go to SLCC Publication Center, all one word, dot com, access that website. You can take a look at some projects and get more information. Thank you. I'm Katie Lewis, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. In English 1830 Literary Magazine Studies, students learn about the theory and practice of making literary magazines um, by producing SLCC's own award-winning literary publication, Folio. In this class, we work together with three student editors, and the students in the class are actually referred to as staff as we produce the, the fall and spring editions of Folio. In Folio, we also examine the ethics and history of publication in terms of circulation and power dynamics. For example, who has historically, culturally, politically, and economically been allowed to publish their work, whose work has been put forward as worthy of publication. And we try to dismantle some of those binaries and some of that um, hegemonic or dominant cultural way of thinking about the value of publication and um, the kinds of works that should and are worthy of being published. Additionally, we curate submissions um, that are also um, fostered through outreach by editors and staff to students and encouraging them to submit their art, their photography, their songs, their animations, their short videos, uh, their literary works, such as creative nonfiction, poetry, short fiction, and even excerpts of longer fiction like novels. So I encourage you to take this class. It complements 1820 really well, and 1820 would also complement 1830 well. Um, and the other facet of this that I think is really important is that we engage in producing a launch of the edition so that it's not just about printing, um, uh, curating and designing and publishing the print edition as well as the web edition. It's also about hosting a launch that allows those students who have trusted us with our work, their work to um, celebrate it and to um, participate in a reading, to show off the art and the photography, excuse me, the photography that they produced. So it's a really dynamic course that um, has us examine all sorts of ethics and responsibilities about publication and it fosters a community and gives SLCC, stu SLCC students an opportunity to have their work published in an award-winning literary magazine. Thanks. Hi, my name is Christy Toth. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm a professor at the University of Utah's Department of Writing and Rhetoric Studies. And I'm really excited to invite all of you to participate in the Writing Studies Scholars Program, which is a bridge program for SLCC students who are transferring to the U and are interested in majoring or double majoring in writing and rhetoric studies. So in our department, we love Salt Lake Community College students because you come with such an exciting range of writing experiences, like all of the courses that you've just heard about. Um, and over half of our majors in writing and rhetoric studies transferred from Salt Lake Community College and are really important leaders in our department. The Writing Studies Scholars Program was developed by faculty at both Salt Lake Community College and the U and with and for many, many Salt Lake Community College students who transferred from SLCC into writing and rhetoric studies over the years. 
Um, and there's a number of benefits that, uh, that are part of this program, most of which were developed by and for students themselves. Uh, so that includes pre-transfer advising to help you with your transfer application and course selection before you get to the U, um, a free 3000 level U course taught at Salt Lake Community College every summer for students before they transfer. Uh, that course is a, a chance to get to meet a lot of other students who are also transferring from Salt Lake Community College to writing and rhetoric studies. So it's a chance to develop a cohort of peers and friends. It's also uh, an opportunity to meet most of the faculty in the writing and rhetoric studies department um, and make some of those connections before you transfer. Uh, for students in the Writing Studies Scholars Program, we have a $2,000 um, transition scholarship during your first semester at the U, and we help you your entire time um, that you're working on your bachelor's degree to find and apply for more scholarships, uh, as well as locating um, resources uh, to, uh, across the University of Utah campus. Um, we can help you purchase an annual parking pass if you need one. We have a free one credit uh, peer study group for students in writing study scholars uh, that's available every semester that you're at the U. Um, additional faculty mentorship and career advising, paid internship opportunities and opportunities to write and publish with you faculty and uh, classmates. Uh, there's a special graduation stole for students in writing studies scholars um, and as you're thinking about what happens after your bachelor's degree uh, there's a growing network of writing studies scholars working as writers in industries uh, and fields and activist and community contexts all around the salt lake valley that you'll be part of um, and we can also assist you with planning for and applying for graduate school. We've had a number of writing studies scholars at this point go on to law school, um, to um, technical and professional writing positions, to master's degrees in writing and rhetoric studies and other areas of English. Um, so our goal is to, to connect with you and support you from before, you, the, before the time that you transfer through to graduation and beyond. Um, so writing study scholars is open to any Salt Lake Community College transfer students who are majoring in writing and rhetoric studies, but transferring with the AS degree in writing studies um, provides a particularly excellent foundation for studying writing and rhetoric at the U and it maximizes the number of major credits that you can complete before you transfer. So this program and all of its scholarships are available to students of any documentation status uh, and of any financial aid eligibility. So if you'd like more information or want to get on the list for this summer's course, you can just email me at christy.toth at utah.edu. Thanks. So as you work through your degree, be sure to connect with one of our advisors. We have both English and Spanish speaking advisors at uh, South City Campus and Taylorville Redwood Campus, and they are there to help. Thank you. As you can see, there are lots of unique and amazing opportunities for writing studies students. Um, please feel free, free to reach out to any of us if you have questions and our website has more detailed information, slcc.edu forward slash English. Thanks for watching everybody.